The announcement of famine in Somalia is meant to act as a wake-up call to the rest of the world. The response from donors and regional government has so far been slow, and aid agencies are lamenting what they call a catastrophic breakdown in the world's collective responsibility to act. I can confirm that this assessment highlights the shocking severity of the crisis facing millions of people in Somalia at the moment. The analysis that has been undertaken confirms that a state of famine exists in parts of Bakol and Lower Shabali regions of southern Somalia. Millions are on the verge of starvation, caught in East Africa's worst drought in 60 years. It's an unrivaled drought in Somalia, which has led to a hunger that can't be imagined. Aid workers think 800,000 children could die. To Somalia now, where thousands of internally displaced Somalis are starving after what the United Nations calls the worst drought in 60 years. It's now official. Parts of Somalia are in a state of famine, the first in the 21st century, with malnutrition rates there, the highest in the world. The UN is to start airlifting emergency supplies to some areas of Somalia. This is the second major drought that we are facing in less than three years. Much needed aid is on the way to more than 11 million famine victims in East Africa. So the dead and the starving of Somalia already knew it. Now the United Nations has confirmed that the severe drought in the Horn of Africa has reached famine conditions. And by any standards, the growing number of victims is truly staggering. The UN's food agency says that now 12 million people need emergency aid, with hundreds of mountains of that lot dying every single day.